my name is Angelo and I'm from Los Angeles City College Community Services. Today I'm going to walk you through on using our new online application form that you can use to register for classes. Now the steps I'll be going through do use a Mac, but it doesn't matter. As long as you have a web browser and an internet connection, the steps are pretty much the same. So when you're ready, let's begin. I'm going to go down to my web browser here, click on that, opens up a new window, and then I'll go to the following web address. That's community services at lacitycollege.edu forward slash online form dot html. Hit enter and that should take you to this page here introducing our online form. Now when this video is ready it'll be up here on this area but you should be aware of this text down here just giving you some heads up on what this form is all about and what to be aware of. Now if you're all good with this just go ahead and click the let's begin button and once you do it will open up a new window or a new tab to our online application form. Here's an introduction about it and below are some terms that you should be aware of and agree to. If you do agree to these terms go ahead and click yes click continue. Now it'll bring you to the screen that asks for the information you're about to enter. In this case it'll be the payers information, the person who's paying for the class. So click continue and then you'll see a series of fields about the payers information. So I'm gonna put in my name, okay, last name, first name, home address, this will be the address to which we send your payment receipt. Um, so I'm going to put the school's address for this one. I'll put the city for that address, the state, and the zip code. Now the phone number, we do need at least one phone number so we can contact you uh, to update you on anything regarding your classes. So I'm going to put here the school's phone number. Uh, you can add extensions if you wish. I'll just add X2651 for our extension. Uh, it'll ask what kind of phone. It's a work phone. We do have space for two other numbers, which are optional. But just in case one doesn't work, we can always try to reach you with another one. The next up is an email address. Uh, this is also optional, but um, you will we'll have to email, uh, provide an email address if you want your receipt sent over email. So let me put my, my work email. And the next question will ask if you'd like updates about our program, like featured classes, reminders to register. So I'll click yes for me. The next question is how you want the receipt sent, whether by regular mail, email, or you can pick it up on campus. So I will choose regular mail and click continue. Now the next part here asks you to have a copy of the catalog, whether it's a hard copy or a copy online. Here I've provided um, links that you can copy and paste to access a PDF version or a plain online version of our classes. Um, here we also have our hard copy of the catalog for the summer season. So this is important because we need to reference something called a sub-event number, which is a number that identifies each class. So once you have a copy, just click yes and continue. Now this page here asks for the first class you're registering for. So I'm going to look through my catalog and I want to register for the Karate for Kids class. So if I see in the catalog, here it is. And for this one, there are two classes listed here. So each of them have their own sub-event number. I want the one uh, that's from 8 to 9.30 a.m. So the number for that is 80151A. The class title, I'll type in Karate for Kids. And the class fee is listed here also, $55. The name of the student who's attending the class is not me, but um, a friend of mine, uh, Daniel Alvarez. So I'll put his name there. The next question is if you'd like to register for more classes today. Um, I will say yes because I want one more class to register for. Click continue and now I'll have 
space to fill out up to four more classes, so giving me a total of five. Um, so let me register for one more class. I would like the, uh, I think I saw something on Balloon Workshop. So that's pretty cool. So here it is in the catalog, Balloon Workshop. And there is a, a listing for that in July. And so the sub event number for that is 50010A. The class title is Balloon Workshop. The fee for this class is $40. And the student's name is my name because I'll be attending this class. Okay. If you decide you don't want to sign up for any more classes, you could just click on the continue button right here without filling out anything. So, but I have, so I'll just click continue. The next part here is about parking permits. We do have them available for $10 and they cover you until the end of August. So there's some information here about them. They are non-refundable. Um, but if you would like them, just click yes, which I will. And if you do click yes, please specify the number you want. I'll choose one and click continue. Now this next screen asks to give a grand total of all the classes and the parking passes you are requesting. So let me pull out my calculator here. And just going to tally all these up. So the karate class is $55 and the balloon workshop is $40 and the parking pass is $10. So giving me a total of $105. So I'll put that in here, 105, click continue. And now we get into the payment information. So it'll ask if the payer is a person or a business. Uh, it's most likely a person. The name of the, the person on the card, right now we, we only take credit cards, but we do accept all the major credit cards. So I'll just put in my name or whosever name is on that card. Um, it's a Visa card in my case. Uh, the card number, uh, you put the number of the card. I'll just put in a, a dummy number here. And then the expiration of the card in that month and year format. So 0, 05, 15. Click continue. It'll ask if all the information you've entered is correct. Um, we want to make sure that all the information you entered is accurate. So when we process your application, uh, it goes through a lot quicker and you get your receipt a lot sooner. Uh, if you're sure it's correct, you can click yes. Or you can say that you're not sure and then you'll be brought back to the payer information page and you can check all the information from there. So I'll just say yes, continue, and then it'll say you're almost there. You just need to click the submit button. And once you do, there you are. It'll say thank you very much. Your application has been submitted. Now, depending on which method you selected um, to have your receipt sent, it'll take that you know, respective amount of time. Um, if you can, we would appreciate if you follow this link right here, it'll bring you to a survey about the online application. Uh, if you could quickly fill this out, any suggestions and things like that is greatly appreciated. Uh, but once you're done, you can just close the window and you're all good to go. We'll process your application and then you'll receive your receipt. So that's about it regarding our online application form. We hope that this will benefit you and that you'll be able to use this uh, to register for classes. Uh, make sure to visit our website at communityservices.lacitycollege.edu for the latest updates and news about our classes and programs. So we try to keep this as up to date as possible, put announcements, featured classes, upcoming classes. Well, aside from that, I think that's about it. My name is Angelo. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you start using our online application form very soon.